Hello and uh, welcome to the most unorganised chan YouTube channel that ever existed. Okay, so... Uh, fuck, I'll just slow down a bit if I can. Um, i just got a few things to do, so I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, I saw a comment from Funky and this is what my next video is going to be anyway. Um... This is from an Abloy classic, um, being this key, that was the key that was cast from it, but at a certain point I fucked it up. Um, I, in the video I said I over-torsioned it, now I have to make a correction now. I didn't over-torsion it removing it from the cast. I over-torsioned it when I was actually turning it in the lock. So, when I said it was a half semicircle, being exactly what it is, and if you've seen any of Matt Smith's videos, Huxley Pig, um, you know, these are notoriously difficult to pick and you need to make a tool for it. Half the reason why it's still all over the bench, because other than Lock Picking Lawyer and Huxley Smith, I haven't seen anyone else who's made one other than some fucking sex offender uh, from like a hundred years ago. And our boy wasn't broken for a hundred years or so. Matt Smith's the man who knows all the knowledge about that. But I find it really interesting that a cashier, not a cashier, uh, uh, you can see that, I can see through the camera. It was the, um, I forget the name, I'm not going to misquote someone now. But the gentleman who uh, designed the Abloy Classic or the Abloy Lock was actually a um, teller, not a teller, what would you call it now? A cash register repairman, if I understand correctly. Uh, so uh, that's really interesting, that crossover of um, trades. Anyway, I've been rambling for 10 minutes. I just find that interesting, that they designed a lock that no one was able to get into, you know, and there's a bunch of locks, if you look at telephone locks, there was uh, someone who was um, skimming uh, phones in the US at one point, um, there's all sorts of forensic stuff that you can look up. Now... I'll get on with what I'm doing. So, clay casting. Um, looking through the camera and doing that at the same time. Some of you might wonder, why the fuck does he still have the green shit in the bottom? Well, I keep that in there because A, it's difficult to melt, and B, it's always there. So I don't have to, if I need some, I can just break it out. And using a jet lighter, I can just re-melt the area that I need. So if I ever needed to make a wax key, all the material's already sitting there. Uh, there's a pinhole each side, usually there's one in the bottom. Um, what I should do is scrape some of this material off, but I'm not going to. Uh, that's how it clips together. So you see in there, usually I had a problem when I originally designed this file. It was supposed to look like that however uh, for whatever reason I only ended up loading one side so whenever I make these I have to then chop it ends up printing it so that when you put it together it overlaps and yeah it just is a matter of a hacksaw like you know, like about five ten minutes work um, and a bit of a file to get it to sit right um, anyway I'll get on with it before I run out of bloody storage space. So I'm going to pick on... Oh, oh, I hope I didn't just break it. It was unlocked. hope you saw that. Um, I'm just going to concentrate for a minute. Listen to the lock. Okay, so that's a Medicaid Classic opened with, I'm just going to lock it back up now, 
a uh, woods metal key that was made f using uh, silicon putty. Now I believe that cast is either this one or this one. I'm pretty sure it may be that one because what I do is keep all the old castings, all the old putty. That way, if I need to remake the key, I can remake the key. For example, this which I'm about to melt down, and I've drilled out and fucked around with, and I was actually using the other end to try and impersonate lever lock. Um, it snapped off, so that was quite easy. I just warmed the lock up, and uh, the wood's metal melted out of it. And you've got to think what fuses with what and the you know, chemistry and metallurgy really interests me so just got to be careful because that looks like a rubber band but it holds an alloy together so um, I'm going to go ahead just to save some time because I've rubbed on <clears throat> I have some fishing line somewhere so I'm going to pause the video Cut off some of this with a little bit of fishing line and uh, come back when these are packed up. If you've seen this, you've seen it before. So the only difference being is last time the magical white powder was self-raising flour. Which, mm, yeah, go figure. Uh, so I bought some talc. Anyway. I just needed something that was fine and white, as far as I was concerned. I did also try using graphite, and I'm still not a fan of clay because it ends up looking like that, whereas these guys hold their shape. So I'll pause it, load these up, we'll get on with the cast. So we all played school art class before. Uh, Take your piece of fishing line, run it through the middle of whatever you think you're going to need. Take that. And use a lighter, so oh, you really should wrap that in glad wrap. Um, I remember that from high school in art class. There's way too much air in that bag because it's, I can't believe it was air hardened somewhere on there, but I'll deal with that later. I'll come back when she's loaded. Okay, quick tip that one's nice and flush and flat. I've played with it a little bit, but if you want to try and get it flat, use your fishing line. Well, I fucked that one up, but use your fishing line. To get a like that that was a waste well it's not waste yet but on that point um, of wasting things people say not to use woods metal there's lead that's 6010 get some focus on the fucking thing and this guy here well it's SMD paste if you go solver uh, certain things need lead in it. It helps. So don't be afraid of lead killing you. I know lots of people have dealt with lead and they've lived for a long fucking time. So this bag will do for the moment. It's just important not to have a lot of wastage because that amount of uh, clay is equivalent to what I saw recently on eBay to 10 to 15 dollars US worth of uh, putty. So, some magical trick with the powder I don't know about. Let me get this sorted. Humor, it had a uh, child protective seal on it, which is still keeping me out. Rather ironic. Hey, let's open a medico with a fucking pretend key. Can't open talcum powder. 
Okay, that should be that should be enough cocaine. I mean, talcum powder. I wouldn't hide my cocaine in with my talcum powder. I mean, I don't have any cocaine. What am I saying? Jesus Christ. I'll have the feds here before the video's ended. Before it's even uploaded. Now, I've seen a myriad of ways to do this, but I know my gear, so that sounds even more sus. Um, as far as this, my, my gear being this chimney. So I like to face the chimney around that way. And I know from experience, yeah, that's probably a good place to put it. Now, I've already put a bit of an impression just by pressing it like that. I'm not really in shock because I don't want to fuck up this medico. I mean, a blue. Or any of these high security locks that people have given me that I'm muddling around with. So, I'm just going to clamp that together like that. Bring a thus into shot. But what I don't like about this is it, it's not like the silicon. I can, the silicon, okay, so I'm just going to have to, wait. I'm just going to wind this as tight as I can to get a nice impression. And I didn't do one of the things I usually do, which is get focus and sort of separate this top part a bit. So we'll try that now. Mm, yeah, nah. And on the point of that, yeah, nah, I'll just give that a second. Uh, thank you to LPG, uh, Keyless Entry, and yeah, nah, mate, for subscribing. So, um, yeah, nah, mate, was pretty happy with his lock. Listen to LPG story about um, broken tooth, so I've got something to say about that myself. Um, I'm looking after your health. Or health problems which could just be unknown to you might fucking kick you in the ass one day and your whole life will change. Um, and Keyless Century, who I've just seen started up, so. Right. Enough of a diatribe, fucking. We'll just try and not mince this up. Get that out of the way. Oh, she separated nicely. Let's come out, that'll pop out. Now the problem I found was that, well, two things, so I don't run out of space. Most of this shit on my bench is always a scalpel, so I just have to sort of make more of a bit of an indent over here and join that. And do the same over here. That will come up as a fairly obvious um, mark. Now, I'll just destroy where it says Medico there. But that actually puts a bit of an impression forward, so I'll pull back when I do that. Close this up. Now, I'm going to open the place up, turn the fans on. Um, just realised I have a massive fucking problem logistics wise as far as pouring this in front of you go, so I'm going to pause it um, and come back. Okay, so here's the uh, bits of metal and old bit of that previous Medica key. Just bits of scrap, basically. Um, that's nothing to worry about. That. But it's important to have a brass plate, otherwise, and like you can drop you can drop wood metal on the um, on the sparrows pinning mats, and it won't burn a hole in it. But no need to uh, test the theory too often. So I'll go melt this, come back, we'll drop it in there, and we'll see if we get a key out of it, one that actually fucking works. Because I found, for whatever reason, with clay in the previous versions that I did it, uh, the chimney wasn't filling up, and usually I get a nice clean chimney with the silicon all the way to the uh, 
the bulb of the key so we get a nice piece going up here that needs to be clipped there there and then a brief tidy up and then open so this video has gone on long enough so not that I think that's too long for a fucking video as long as it makes sense um, I'll just get on with this instead of talking about it right fans on I'll be in with the metal Now, it's a bit hotter than you usually would. It would be in the state of what people would call off-gassing, which is why it looks so bloody aggressive at the moment. 